Hi, I'm Michael Williams, and today we're going to build a front load base cabinet. This type of cabinet should be used to install any doors or drawers. To complete this job, you're going to need an impact wrench, a drill, an angle grinder or sawzall, a tape measure, a pencil, a 90 degree triangle, a four foot level, a 9 16 inch wrench or socket, and a T25 bit. When your front load base cabinet arrives, it should include the following pieces. One front panel pre-welded and pre-sheeted with concrete board. One back panel pre-welded and pre-sheeted with concrete board. One magnesium oxide board floor. Four panel connecting struts. Four vertical adjustable rails. Two horizontal adjustable rails. Four leveling feet bolt, nut, and self-tapping screw package. To make the assembly process as simple as possible, first unpack your front load base cabinet and lay out all your components. Once everything is laid out, you'll want to find your four panel connecting struts and bolt those to the front panel. This will allow you to stand up the panel on its own, making it a one-man job. Then, Position the back panel in place and connect your four panel connecting struts to the back panel. After the basic components of your front load base cabinet are built, flip the cabinet over. To install the leveling feet, first remove the nuts. We'll reinstall these later to lock the leveling feet in place. After you've inserted all four leveling feet, Run a bead of caulk around the bottom of the front load base cabinet frame. Try to keep the bead close to the interior rim of the cabinet frame. This will help minimize caulking from seeping out the side. Lastly, take your floorboard, place it on the bottom of the cabinet frame, and screw it into place to secure it. Congratulations! Your front load base cabinet is now assembled. Now for the fun part. The doors or drawers you selected will come with rough openings direct from the manufacturer. These are the dimensions you need to cut out for your doors or drawers to fit snugly into the cabinet. First, find the rough openings for your drawer provided by the manufacturer. As an example, let's say the rough opening is 28 inches wide and 18 inches high. First, find center on your front load base cabinet. Then, measure 14 inches away from the center in each direction. This gives you your 28 inch wide opening on center. Next, you'll need to measure for your cutout height. From the center, go nine inches in either direction. This will give you your 18 inch height. Just be sure to come up at least two inches from the base of the cabinet to clear the bottom frame. Using your angle grinder or sawzall, cut out your opening. On the inside of the front of the cabinet, you'll need to install an adjustable vertical rail on either side of the cutout using the provided self-tapping screws. Next, you'll install two more vertical adjustable rails on the inside of the back panel. The front two vertical adjustable rails and the back two adjustable vertical rails should mirror each other exactly. Lastly, you'll install the horizontal adjustable rails to the vertical adjustable rails. Make sure that the horizontal rails are level and flush with your cutout. The last step is to set and secure your drawers. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call us or email us at the link below. Our team of installation professionals, experienced outdoor kitchen designers, and barbecue experts are standing by to help you.